look at LEC KDAs. How, how is Jankos top KDA? Holy fuck. Jankos and Flacket have such high KDAs. KDA is a weird stat though. Any streaming or do you make more money at Riot? Riot. It's not even close. It's he makes way more money at Riot. Mmm. Not even close. Like, if you take everything that Riot has given me and you compare it to my best streaming year, I think we're talking Riot's still a factor of 3 or 4x more. So. Really? I mean, he's really high up in Riot, right? That means his salary is like 600k or something if he's getting paid two or three times more as a Rioter. Holy fuck. He probably gets like paid like four to 600k then. Holy shit. So what is this? No fun in Valorant. You got a warning for teabagging? Bro, I know it's really low volume. I can barely hear it. I can barely hear it. Wait, it's kind of sad, no? Especially in like shooter games. Isn't shooter games like dropping a teabag afterwards, just fucking sending a message? Well, it's not that deep, man. You don't have to find them for teabagging or some shit. Yeah, it's, that's just sending a message. You just got fucked, bitch. LCK finals weekend will be held in Casepo, dome with 15,000 capacity. Ooh, will T1 make those finals? Today we are saying goodbye to our LCS head coach, Shark Z. Shark Z, I heard, was a good coach. I heard he was a good coach. But Immortals was last place. I mean, Immortals has been trash for like three years, hasn't it? Guess the champions and the skins. What, by their feet? By their feet. That's Vayne. That's Irelia. That's Lilia. That's Leona. That's Evelyn. And uh, that one is uh, Briar, I think. Irelia, Ari, Leona. I mean, I was close. I was really close. I was pretty close. I was pretty close. <laughs> Yo, it's not that I. It's not that I. It's not that I. It's not that I knew. Okay, it's just that I knew. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's not that I knew. Tabe joined Al as our head coach. Riddle of the day. Sadly, I lost the first split of this season, but that's okay. I've won four times. Staying in Challenger on Korean servers, my region isn't famous, but that didn't make me nervous. Who am I? Bro, if these are people from like VCS or some shit, I have no clue. I, I have no idea. Here is some Viper lore. He peels bananas with his mouth because he doesn't like sinking his nails in them and getting them dirty. What? Sausage has Cajal joined T1. T1 Cajal Pog. Did you know that Malzahar's R will deal the same damage no matter how long he holds his R for? So even if he taps someone with R, or if he holds the full duration of his R, it'll do the same damage? Really? Nah, you do. Really? Tarek what got mad at catches Valorant? I don't necessarily see. It's like a little circle thing where it like poisons you a little bit. Incoming nukes! That's not a that's not a spell. Nukes dropping down! <laughs> Wall! Pushing over the rocket with rocket launcher flying over! Insane splash grenade! Okay, we don't have any splash grenades. I don't like this guy. Is he making a mockery of our game? <laughs> to beam from the sky. This guy can't see anything. He just sees blue. This guy sees yellow. He sees something. He's flashed. This guy peeks. I kill. 
I can see! I can't see! This guy's casting a spell! More smoke! More rain! More lasers from the sky! Green! This guy- Bro, this round wasn't even that crazy. You wanna see crazy? Bro, this is like a chill round. <laughs> this wasn't even a crazy round, bro. I think we should get Tarek Breaks Down League. Is it time for co-streamer wars? Is it time for the, the content creators that yoink, yoink content to have a battle? <laughs> oh, there's a dog, sniper, and then the site's taken. Like, what in the f*** is that game? That wasn't even a crazy round, bro. That round was pretty crazy. That round was pretty crazy. Wait, it gets worse? Wait, hold up. Wait, wait, it gets worse? Wait, what does he mean? Wait, it gets worse than that? Yeah, I saw that. Holy jump scare from flowers. Oh my god. He looks like... Is that is that his reaction to the fucking... Uh, give us war? Nah, bro, I'm not gonna start a war with Tarek. What are you on about? The Rat King was mentioned here for seven minutes. Hey, uh, my name is Green Cerverday. I'm also from Baltimore, Maryland. Also, we got back-to-back -back Baltimore callers, I guess. Baltimore that, that chat. Baltimore, Maryland. Where's that? That's that's Mary, Maryland. That's fucking southeast, right? Be the next uh, stop for the LCS. What do you... That's uh, next to Arizona. Show? Uh, so, my take's actually... Um, I was watching Cubby's stream before HLL came on, and he said that he actually would really like to have more pros, former pros, like Sven and Broxa on the broadcast, because... Um, if you look at the success of Cajal, like the the opportunity is massive for analysis and content and everything. Um, and but Cajal's not on the broadcast. No, he's not. But when he was, and then he left the broadcast and blew up even more. Um, and I, I, sorry to like piggyback off of it, but I also actually think that this same kind of logic could apply. It wasn't just me. It was the it was the it was the rat gang. <laughs> to I didn't get uh, fired. I didn't get fired. Out to former pros to start their own teams, like, or not even former pros, but like you could go to Tyler One or Cutie Pie, uh, any of these people, Double Lift. But I, I just think that like the opportunity for all of these personalities to come into the scene is enormous, and it, maybe the, the cat gang the scenes is doing something. There about is it, no cat gang. Anything, and I just think it'd be cool. I would not want any of the three people you just mentioned to run a team. <laughs> Like those, uh, these, those are not the, I, I love the idea of them being associated with a team, um, or maybe being, you know, the figurehead ownership type deal. But yeah. I want to see, yeah, I'm a mean, cutie like pie esports team and running the team. That is uh, that, uh, there, that would be rough. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. So, I mean, part of this was like the, I I've talked about this quite a bit about how I think it's really important to have like ex players actually be involved. And a lot of this comes from like traditional sports and I, I love to use the example of like if you took Cajal's player resume then he would never be able to be on a major network show for any traditional sport what the fuck man you know my score not my story okay yo chill out cubby man okay you know my score not my story okay i'm bro you you give me an, a couple years and the right players i'm tom brady bro like this guy never made playoffs right if what <laughs> What? What is he doing? Yo, chill out. You take that player resume, regardless of your talent on broadcast, like because the brand that you had as a player isn't like quite as high. It's really tough to like a like actually make it. And I think part of the special part about esports is that obviously Cajal's great on broadcast and like he was able to build up his brand and do really well, which is fantastic for him. Uh, but again, like I feel like over time as people have gone catching trees, I like. At times, I think that, like, I have an issue when, like, Tarek and Kajrel have more of, like, have more viewers than the main broadcast. Like, this tells me that it's a very fundamental issue with Riot that, A, like, they don't want to, like, compensate, the like, these guys, like, what they need to do to be a part of the broadcast instead of streaming their own product, where, yes, they are building up, like, the show they're covering but ultimately they're not on the main broadcast and therefore i view that as a missed opportunity for them uh and also like i mean look it, me and sven could say the same exact thing and sven's thing would matter 10 times more just because of what sven's experience was i get what he's saying but also like for example it's not just riot i, I don't think you can blame riot like for example the cs major is on right now the cs2 major in copenhagen's on 
the main broadcast is like third or fourth most viewed. You've got Gaul, Gauls, I think, a Brazilian streamer who's clearing the main broadcast by double every game. You've got Ona Pixel who's voting fucking crazy, and there's another streamer I saw who's also above the mainstream. So it's not just Riot. Like, uh, it's a uh, the CS2 major is the fourth most watch of the major broadcast, even though it's the main broadcast. It's actually worse in CS than it is in League. In League, it's like LEC, Ibai, and that's it. Um, there's no one else who has more main viewers, really. That's right. Like, this guy's won multiple regions. He's taken top four worlds. His opinion is always going to hold more weight. Uh, and I feel like having players that were involved in the past product, building up the people coming up, it really has a big impact on people connecting with the future generations that come into the league too. Uh, so yeah, I think Sven was like the perfect candidate for someone that, that can be on broadcast. And I think Brox has been a huge help for LEC. And uh, I, I really wish that like more ex pros would consider true. this yeah, Kameto. as a successful route like for a post career. It's that way in traditional sports. I think it's a lot harder in esports, but um, I do think like it having someone like Sven on the broadcast helping connect the next generation of players, I think that does make a big difference for the guys that are now up and coming now. I also like that you, the, uh, you Trojan horse to your own take through this coming. You were like, I did. you're like, oh, oh yeah, yeah you know, cool, here's a, an opinion of mine. And I'll say this on stream right before hotline league. And if anybody's listening, wow, sure. Does, is this an opinion that deserves some discussion? I see how you're, you're doing this. That was, I, I mean, at least it was this and not challengers, Travis, you know, was Ven, was whenever that you see a former pro on the broadcast, do you respect their opinion more than everybody else that's on the broadcast? Sven's not even listening, bro. Wait, what? Sorry? <laughs> Talk to me? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that guy been a little bit spaced out last couple of minutes. What, what are you saying? You're just, once Cubby started talking about how smart and beautiful yeah. you are and how successful you are and everything that you've oh, done. Oh, yeah, you that just, was nice. Yeah, that you just, that, you that, just that went off into space. That well, part I heard. So Cubby was just talking about how great it is that former pros could be on broadcast because they're so oh, smart yeah, and well informed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I called okay. you, and then you said you had nothing to say. It just sat there zoned. You know what I realized, Chad? Uh, and this is not aimed at anyone in the show specifically, but um, how do I frame this in a way that like makes sense? And I'm not saying this to play the victim on at all. I'm not saying this at all. Like I'm in a very like privileged position. Um, the streams are going great. But what I've noticed is people who were nice to me in the industry when I was smaller as a caster are now quite mean to me as I've gotten a bigger as a streamer. You know, I don't know how to say that in a way. I'm not trying to say that like it makes me sad or anything, but I've noticed that a lot of people in the industry um, that were either like homies or I would speak to every now and then or were like you know, whatever it was, they've now like, don't talk to me or they don't reply to me or like they, they do digs at me a lot. Uh, and it actually becomes more frequent. Like, it's like, I don't know. I'm not aiming this at Cubby, you know, I, I get that Cubby has his opinions, whatever. I'm not like, I, I, I never knew Cubby in the first place, right? So it's not like I'm, I'm judging him or anything. I'm, I'm just saying there's like, um, it's weird, man. That shit's so fucking weird. And I get the argument of like, well, back in those days, I probably didn't stream as much, right? So I was a lot more um, of a human. And now I stream shit tons. But uh, no, it's not Vetti. Yo, 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 it's not Vetti. Yo, chill out. Vetti's, Vetti's a fucking homie. This is not the, the Vetti. But um, yeah, there's a lot of people who, who yeah, just don't want to speak to me anymore. Or like, uh, don't give a fuck. And uh, they just like go on to different places and say like, mean shit or I get linked mean shit about the things they say about me which is weird again like I'm not here to play victim I'm just saying like it's kind of the more viewers the more yeah anyway anyway at least we love you yeah hell yeah I love the red gang I love the red gang like again like I'm not saying this to be like oh my god I'm so sad please help me I'm not I'm not saying that I'm just saying like some people are just weird men like one minute they'll be like bro i like wish you all the best like i i hope you find success like you're on a great path keep doing it like i i'm, I'm i hope you're gonna do well and it's like oh thank you man and then it's like you make it and they're like 
Yeah, uh, that guy, I uh, got kind of lucky, like, right place, right time. I mean, he's not that smart. Like, if you actually look at his resume, he doesn't really do it that... It's like, bro, what the fuck, man? I thought you were being nice, like, a year ago or two years ago. What the fuck? <laughs> They're not wrong, Kajal. They're not wrong. Meme of the day. Yeah, we should do meme of the day. Let's do meme of the day, chat. Meme of the day. Let's have a look. Where do we start meme of the day? We start here. LEC watching LCS. Bro, it's the other way around sometimes. Yo, Kisara, thanks for the five gifted. Uh, what? Smolder thinking he always wins. Marek, Brest, and Fnatic. First meme of the day expectations. First meme of the day reality. LEC growing their power team. LEC getting ready for Worlds. LEC at Worlds. Stupid G2 fraud chokers. When you can't beat the Elite Four, so you have to call your brother. <laughs> oh my god. It's typical people. Don't take it personally. Oh, I didn't take it personally. Don't worry. When your AD carry doesn't carry, fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Deal with it. Bro, respect to Zwyru, man. Like, motherfucker has... He has... He has self-respect. You flame me in solo queue, you don't get handshake. Is that Belveth, Kha'Zix, Kog'Mo, or Cho'Gat? <laughs> what is that? The last time a picture of me when I was mentally stable? Okay. Mom, can I have Aragon? No, we have Aragon at home. Aragon at Yo, what is wrong with this chat? My jungler when I take raptors once, my jungler smiting the cannon for the fifth time. <laughs> reaction to a reaction to a reaction. EU realizing we have to face T1, Genji, BLG, and all the other Korean and Chinese teams. Yo! <laughs> No! What? Well, is that real? No way, right? Fiber Optic Friday. God for no reason one day. Okay. This chat is so dumb. Bro, that smile is a good smile. That smile. I drew Bulbasaur. That's my post on Instagram. That's true. I was I, on my day on my day off. I was drawing. I just started drawing. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get good at drawing. So I started drawing Pokemon. That's my Bulbasaur. Okay, it's not that great. Okay. It's not that great, but it's getting there. It's getting better. My Bulbasaur drawings are getting better. Every time you repost, Yumi is kicked down 400 stairs. I'm super shy. Yo, I miss him. You're not hungry, you're bored. Shut the damn door. True. I bet you shower naked, you slut. <laughs> you said we are so back. I lied. Lucid, it's time to you learn about money and the importance of pink wards. Yo, how many... How many, uh, how many pink wards does Lucid buy? What? <laughs> Shut up. One hour here is seven years on Earth. Great. We'll wait here till Kajal makes playoffs. Oh, good one. Yappa. <laughs> Yappa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who wins meme of the day chat? Is it... Is it... Yo! The OK Google thing started going off. No, stop it! I think Yappa wins, right? <laughs> Yo, what is that? 
아, 첫날이었으니까 네, 말씀하신 것처럼 본인이 가지고 있는 것을 다 보여드리기 어려웠겠습니다만 Okay, Yappa wins Yappa wins Yappa wins, that was a good one 모든 것들을 한번 뿜어내보기 바랍니다 그러면 DRX가 역시 블루사이드인 가운데 이 세트 뱀픽 보겠습니다 Good job, Yappa 이게 그래서 어, 원래라면 그냥 무난한 구도에서 원하는 Post it on main? Nah, I don't, I don't want to post it on main I can post it on the, on the, on the, on the cage updates account But I don't want to post it on main, man I don't want, I, I'm not want, I don't want to flame a, play, a player Like, I don't know, like, it feels weird Skarner's voice is out Wait, hold up Holy fuck. Bless me, Sentinel, or perish. Sovereign of dragons, I will break you. Lend me your primordial fury. Holy fuck, he has a lot of voice lines. You are nothing but a glorified serpent. Break upon me. I am beyond myth. Witness my might. Tyler won, got 1700 ELO in chess. Yeah, I saw that. That was crazy. When does the LCK Spring Playoffs start? They start in two weeks. Is there news about the Apex Tournament? Yeah, the Apex Tournament scheduled for March 28th. But I think there are some issues with the hacking stuff. Happy birthday, Pedro. I had cancer two years ago and started watching your streams after seeing some of your clips on YouTube. Your streams had always lifted my spirits up, even during chemo. I remember looking forward to your cast and your World's Finals 2022. I had so much hype. Thanks to you, Guma. Can you see it? I fully recovered now, but watching your streams always helped me deal with a bad day. I hope you know how much your streams mean to the rats. And if you're having a bad day, just know the rats are always here to support you. And we love you. XD Kiss, you're a great streamer. PS, love you too. Mods, wide XDL. Yo, much love, man. You fucking 1 0 versus cancer. That's fucking right. Absolutely cleared that bitch. Yankos taking a selfie. Yo, you're always welcome to stream, man. What is this? What was Pedro's worst subjective take related to pro teams and players? Mickey X over Carrier ain't no way. What was my worst take? Hmm. What was my worst take ever? Hot take, Mickey X over Carrier wasn't that bad of a take. Mm, I think the problem, the foresight and risk of Linkas over Bow. It's uncharacteristic of Kajal to bring up Rookie when the team is in this state. K Corp is right now in a good... Yeah, yeah, I understand what you're saying there. I think my, my point when I was making it wasn't that I think Bow is the problem. I think my point was that this is a team that I think if they invested in Linkas now, Right when they then get Kalista next year, they have two really good rookies to work with, and like Linkas gets a lot of experiences here, right? Because let's be honest, uh, upset is only really there for a year until Kalist gets good enough to uh, old enough to play. Because I mean, K Corp will want to play with Kalist, um, and I think Linkas is a great prospect as well. So I, I think it's worth investing early. What's my point? What else? His take that pre-recorded drafts in LCS is fine, had no complaints when it came to LEC, he was super against it, his friends might get laid off or less work, be consistent, not a hypocrite. That's a valid one. I think uh, also the reason that I was critical against the um, draft changes in the LEC was that I wasn't aware that LCS pros were practicing matchups before the games. Um, the only reason I started hating it when it came out in LEC, especially, was because of um, uh, the whole pro player practicing matchups thing which i thought was just really bad for competitive integrity but i will admit seeing like colleagues get cut in lots of segments and like having less screen time and the possibility of them being removed from the show worried me a lot because the lec i think is really reliant on well not really reliant but i think for example if you take shocks out of lec i think that's gonna fucking destroy the product uh, i think that if that consistent factor happens with LEC, where people just come and go all the time, that's going to really hurt. It's like if... Like, I think Flowers is like the face of, of LCS. Flowers, as long as Flowers is there and he's casting, people are going to be hyped. But for me right now, I think Shox is like a core part of the LEC. And casting will never be cut, but the desk can be cut, right? So if Draft gets cut and then Desk gets cut, then Shox gets cut, I think the product's really going to struggle, IMO. Because she is like so crucial to the product i think that was my take uh that's how my take shifted uh so hope i hope that helped the capitals of europe what is the capital of the netherlands amsterdam the capital of belarus uh, uh i don't know belgium brussels 
Moldova. I don't know. Spain, Madrid. Turkey, Istanbul. 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 It's bugged. Bulgaria. Uh, next. Slovakia. Uh, next. San Marino. Lithuania. Austria. Salzburg. Vatican City. What's the capital of Vatican City? Vatican? I don't know. Denmark? Copenhagen. Capital of Italy? Rome. Capital of Croatia? Zagreb. Oh my god, I'm crazy. Capital of Finland? Wait. Helsinki. Capital of Romania? Um, wait, hold up. The capital of Romania is... The capital of Romania is... I don't know. Capital of Sweden. Uh, Malmo. No. Stockholm. Capital of Ireland. Dublin. Right? Capital of Kosovo. Um, I don't even know what it is. Capital of Russia. Moscow. Capital of Portugal. Uh, Lisbon. Capital of Bosnia, Erzi, Govina. Capital of Iceland, Reykjavik. 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 Chat. Reykjavik. How did, bro? What? Reykjavik. Bro, I'm done. This game is completely bugged. Capital of Montenegro. I don't know. Capital of Poland. Warsaw. Capital of Czech. Wait, I know this one. Capital of Czech Republic. Czech Czechia. Uh, I forgot. Capital of Serbia. I forgot. Capital of France. Paris. Capital of Ukraine. Uh, Kiev. Capital of Hungary. Capital of Switzerland. Geneva. Capital of Cyprus. I don't know. Capital of the UK. London. Capital of Latvia. I don't know. Capital of Greece. Uh, Athens. Capital of North Mac Macedonia. No idea. Capital of Albania. No idea. Capital of Luxembourg. No idea. Capital of Slovenia. No idea. Capital of Andorra. Andorra? No idea. Capital of Monaco. Monaco? <laughs> Capital of Berlin. Uh, Germany. Capital of Norway. Oslo. Capital of Estonia. No idea. Capital of Liechtenstein. No idea. Capital of Malta. Wait, I went to Malta. Uh, no idea. Capital of Belarus. No idea. Capital of Moldova. No idea. Capital of Turkey. Wait, I'm going in circles. That's all I got, Ka. Skopje, Sofia, Bucharest, Chisinau, Pristina, Belgrade, Budapest, Bratislava, Bratislava, Bratislava Prague, Vaduz, Vienna, Ljubljana. What? How the fuck do you say that? How the fuck do you say that? Ljubljana? You say Ljubljana? The fuck there's a J in there, ka? Sarajevo? San Marino? Bro, why do you have a capital city if your capital city is your country? Luxembourg? Luxembourg. 
Motherfucker, if you're sending mail to Luxembourg, they're not gonna miss Luxembourg. Let's put it twice. San Marino, San Marino. Yeah, no shit. Vatican City, Vatican City. Oh shit, I got a mistake with the other one. At least Andorra put some effort in. They called it La Vela. Fucking ew. That was fun. I was pretty good at that.